Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So tonight I will be making hot bacon dressing. Now, I genuinely don't know if southern folks make hot bacon dressing too. Um, I do know that up north it is popular, especially among German folks and Pennsylvania Dutch. Um, hot bacon dressing was something that I looked forward to every summer when my gram would make it at least once a week. And it was just that darn good. It's really easy to make. And um, I am going to be using, with this video, my own lettuce that I have been growing in a pot. So you're basically going to need some bacon to fry, or if you do say bacon grease, well, you already have one of the ingredients. Um, you won't need to fry up any bacon. You already have your fat from previous bacon drippings. So let's get into it. So what you're seeing in my frying pan is approximately a half cup of bacon fat. Now I've actually been saving this up for a bit. Um, so yeah, I have a half cup in there and uh, I have my frying pan actually heating up on low. Now this recipe that I'm sharing with y'all is very similar to my grandmother's. Um, she used just bacon drippings, um, sugar, and white vinegar. Now, some people like to add chopped onion. My gram never actually did that, so I'm not going to be doing it. Um, so this is almost completely dissolved, and you can see there is some bacon in there. So next I'll be adding a half a cup of white vinegar and then a half a cup of sugar. All right, so I added my sugar, I added my white vinegar, heated it up to boiling, and I actually have uh, the burner turned off right now at the moment. And this is my homegrown lettuce. Like I said, it will it'll grow back. Um, so I'm not worried about it, um, but yeah, there is, uh, my lettuce. No pesticides, no nothing. Um, from seed, and actually, you know, it came pretty good. Um, that'll be going pretty quick because I actually put some miracle Grow um, in with the watering this morning, so that'll be growing back quick out there before you know it. Um, now, this recipe did say... If you want to thicken it a little bit more, you can add some cornstarch. Um, I was thinking about adding maybe a little bit, but I don't have any more cornstarch. So, as I said, I'm going to leave that, you know, cool down just for a few minutes. And then I'm going to put some over, a few pieces of lettuce, and let you all know how it turned out. I also added a little bit of salt to it, too. Well, I just ate one piece of bacon, and mm, the thing I remember as a kid about hot bacon dressing was that it's a combination of sweetness and I don't want to say tartness, but maybe a little bit of almost spiciness um, because of the vinegar and with the sugar so yeah um gosh that brought back some good memories um i'm going to store the remaining um hot bacon dressing in a clean empty glass jar um the best way to actually store it i think because you can actually gradually warm it up or you can um, just pour it over salad greens and warm them up in the microwave that way. And just a curiosity, may I have a taste? Since um, Yeah, go ahead. 
So Ronnie actually had some and uh, said it was really, really good. Um, you, you could show them my face now. I mean, oh. Hi, guys. <laughs> so what did you think of it? It's been a while. Um, it was good. I recall actually eating it back in Freeland, so. Right. Yeah, it's been a few years since I made it. I think the last time I made it was when we were living in Freeland on Washington uh, Avenue. Mm -hmm. But Washington, um, Street, yeah. Washington Street, yeah. Um, so it's pretty easy. I mean, there's different variations of it. Like I said, some people put uh, a red onion chopped in it. Some people use a yellow onion. My gram never used to actually put an onion in hers so like i said this is pretty close to my grams i don't remember off the top of my head if she put anything else in it i honestly cannot remember but um as i said i'm going to store the remainder in a clean glass jar and i'm going to put in a freezer bag the rest of my lettuce because this could be a Good little lunch uh, tomorrow when I come back from my mammogram. So I know this video is really short, guys, but I really wanted to share this with y'all. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have not already, please hit my subscribe button. Hit that bell for all so you're notified every time I upload a new video. So take care, everyone, and have a great evening. I will see you all real soon on my next one. Bye. Bye.